no idea what happened to Devin last episode, truthfully, but we'll see what's going on with him in this chapter here. Okay, a strong start for the season has Team High and Spirit as Pat heads to Melbourne for Austria and Graham Free. That's one goes to the race then. Mid race, qualifying has a team in good position. Okay, not bad then. We're mid race though, so I don't know where I am exactly, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are, zooming on by, as usual. Just don't do any. Here comes Butler. Good pace here down the mm -hmm. straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late. Yeah. He nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think Maybe. just a little bit of desperate driving there, Croft. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> He really doesn't seem okay, honestly. He looks like he's hallucinating a little bit. Okay. I can do that for you. I'll try to get us even more in the points, if deemed possible. You know? If it's possible, I'll try doing that. Cause other than that, this guy does not seem okay whatsoever. Truthfully. But yeah. Like he's hallucinating or something. I don't know what's going on with. <laughs> you know? Okay. We weren't able to do so. Are we able to hold off a Alpine though? You're in the top ten now, keep it up. Mm hmm I'm trying. Damn, so he is really getting on to us. Very much getting. But have you seen the cutscene there? It does not seem okay in the slightest bit though, so. Someone should really uh, check up on him, truthfully. Someone really should. Cause I don't know what's wrong with him. Phones should tell me what's wrong with him. You know? Because the car is realistically just perfectly fine. But he ain't. You know? As I roughly hold out that Alpine here. Coming up onto the third last lap of the race here. Trying to make sure. That's just five laps of fuel remaining. And we hold on to these positions here. Whoever takes that provide. You know? Not get passed by a teammate here either. Optimal thing is to stay in the points, so at least our team has points here. I don't think we'll be able to set the fastest lap though. Since he him himself already damaged the car, so yeah. 
Hmm. There it was not me. As we have pure gas in that gaining onto us. We ain't gonna let him pass. We ain't gonna let him pass. That's for sure. I wonder if I get another bonus if we're somehow able to uh the fastest lap. Not saying that we're going to, but if deemed possible at least. So team is right behind us honestly. So truthfully, I do not know if we're able to. As we go into the grass here, which is not going to help us in the slightest bit. Truthfully, for our team though, we should let Aiden pass because he is the fastest car without any issues. But, uh, Devin is Devin, so can't say. Can't say with this guy. You know? Because once we get in DRS zone again, uh, might be able to make a move on us. I'm not saying I'm gonna let him, but you might be able to. As we're on the second last lap of the race here, trying to ultimately stay in front of our teammate and everyone else. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by 2.0 seconds. Mm -hmm. Copy that. But yeah, something really goes wrong with this guy. <laughs> no, if I didn't know this here. Very interesting. Very interesting. If I be like, wee, 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 you cut the corner. But they didn't say anything about that one this time around, so that's at least ideal. Very ideal. As we now on the last lap of the race here, we're trying to hold off the teammate. that he is not dug in front of us. Of course. Careful, remember your teammates. My bad, you right, you right, you right. You right, you right, you right. But they're still trying to keep him at bay here. Max one, trying to act surprised, not really. Yeah, they're normally in the front. This always is a Red Bull and or a Ferrari, so not the most surprised here. That's rare. Just holding off his unit. We're just holding him off. Is that the best food team? No. But we are just doing a check to see her, honestly. 
I'm gonna just try and do key objectives here. And we're able to. We were able to. Okay. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in public. My famous position was that what do you want me to do? I try to stay in the point. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go rogue, but the question is, what are Connor Sport gonna do about it? You yeah, know? Well it's really hard. We've seen so many times before Crofty in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. It's a mm -hmm. very hard situation to manage. And working Very. for the team, Casper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. Mm -hmm. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. You know? It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. It can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all I can agree with Australia, that. And as the teams acclimatize to their new standings, so will we. Mm -hmm. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight that for the is true, position. but we're going to skip that, honestly. We know the Bulls naturally win. It's not not something that will brief. Oh, God. <sighs> now, Devin, you didn't respond to a team order today. In mm -hmm. the last season, you said it was a comms issue, but Colin yeah. Ford claimed they didn't know what that issue was. So, are they hiding something? What's really going on here? I'm not going to feel any speculation, mistakes, something that happens, and like, I'm not giving you any speculation, okay? okay? I say is going to be taken out Sante. So I, I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team, and we'll figure out how we can stop it. Exactly. That's, that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? It was rough, tough out there. I do what I could do, but I'm supposed to do it's pretty straightforward. Uh, mm, truthfully, it's not that. It is a bit tough with a car that's a bit compromised. Truthfully. Yeah, it was tough. Tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here, and it's frustrating. To deal with anything that slows me down, you know, I didn't like it, and the team didn't like it. Exactly. Some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? I do think you prefer aiding a love preferential treatment. My father, but the money has no bearing on my natural talents. It's practical for a team to drive to their priority. Honestly, yeah, again. I'm trying to be nice for both of them, yeah, so. It strikes me as really odd, like, as if <laughs> the only reason that I'm first on the track is because my dad funds the team, you know? How, how is that an explanation? It's ridiculous. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season, based on your performance so far? Sure. They got me, haven't they? So, uh, yeah, I expect us to do pretty well. If they can sort out the car this time around, I'll get them all the points their little hearts desire. That's great, thank you. No problem. You can have whatever you love. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just like the second race of the season. I don't, I don't think it is, but for this we are gonna say that it is just the second race of the season here. We can Make men's oh right. I forgot. Could you take a look at this food? Sure. The producer of the throttle zone have been in touch. They are now seeking permission to film inside their coin garage for upcoming throttle to scene zone scene. They'll need full full run of the garage while they film. The engineer department are also just scheduled to have a garage on those same days to run tests. We can't kick or engineer our own work pit that's to inconvenience to everyone tell the film they can't film in the garage. Yeah. We gotta think of our team, man. Mm. 
Devin refused to comment on what happened out there that is respectful of its rifle would we say Devin's a great driver, it's a mess and Sam it. Uh, no comments. Uh, I don't feel like speaking about it. Uh, you know, if I speak, I... Yeah, guys. He was developing the car. I do not uh, care. Oh, God. Yo, what's up? this in the butt, Cass. Do you hear me? Andreo. Butler, what was that out there today? I will not have a return to last season. We are a team. Yes. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. Look, just calm down. I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be raising it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, hang on, look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. I don't think that's really anything much enjoyable talking to his father. Truth be told, I'm not gonna call you. But, in you, let's go in the next chapter here. Why the heck not? Oh, it's a well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. Mm -hmm. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fail. Which I thought was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal. Mm -hmm. And he gave the exact same excuse. You know? Oh. Yeah. You wanted to see me? Ah, there he is. You're a difficult man to pin down. Mm, you know? Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly. Uh, you know? Works, so I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure, paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on, you're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh, it's making me second guess myself. Mm. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the the team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, <laughs> Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine. Thank God so we can check on this guy. I know something's wrong with him. I know something's wrong with him. I know something is wrong with him. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, we're just gonna skip all these. I don't think we're gonna get a call from anyone. But just in case, we'll just start looking at these. Just in case that is to happen, like his father or anyone, just in case. Mainly just his father, really. Okay, no one, let's go. Yeah, paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on, 
You're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh... It's making me second-guess myself. Mmm. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the... The team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, no, Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine. Thank God so we can check on this guy. I know something's wrong with him. I know something's wrong with him. I know something is wrong with them. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, we're just gonna skip all these. I don't think we're gonna get a call from anyone. But, just in case, we'll just start looking at these. Just in case that is to happen, like his father or anyone, just in case. Mainly just his father, really. Okay, no one, let's go. Mallow and Main Grand Prix. Honestly, I feel like I have not heard of this Grand Prix before in my life. Yeah, and I am somewhat newer to F1, so. I guess that is to be expected, but I'm still like, what is this Grand Prix? I feel like I've never heard of it before. Seven laps. Okay. We just got overtaken, bro. What? Seven, is everything all right? Finish. Fine. Fine. Just leave me to it, yeah? So, we just got overtaken. We're all the way in nine. So, at least we're in the points. And. They just want me to finish the race. Okay, never mind. I remember this track now as well. I at least remember seeing it, playing on it. Not as familiar. Wait, is it though? I know it's just what Italian Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it now. I remember this track now. The names of tracks. Never been my forte, but driving on them, that is my forte. You know? Okay, you just want me to finish the race, that's the primary objective, there's no other objective. Very interesting. That our own fastest time here of the race. So yeah, it's a very good call by Casper to uh, talk to the medical team only because my two it was like something's up with this guy. Honestly, it's not just his driving and annoying the team. Because as you saw before in Melbourne, something was up with him, and something still seems to be up with him still. So, if he did come with a different excuse though, I'd be like, oh, maybe it's that excuse. But he didn't, so. That's why I'm like, hmm. You see here. Good job. Nice I don't think so, pal. I don't think so. But anywho, we're able to overtake someone there. I do not remember who it was. Oh, sorry, Sergeant. Sorry, my apologies. We have the past Sergeant here as we're approaching the elephants. Sorry, the on the lookout because we're slide of this one's much more 
quicker than uh, the one there at the, in Bahrain, as you say. This track is very much like a roller coaster, which we are swerving around and going up and down a hill. As per usual, the S's always has my number on them. But other than that, we should be just fine. We'll finish the race for Devon. We'll attempt to get the points because why not? It's best for the team to get the points. Yeah, as per usual. Let's gotta help me make some moves. If we're able to make some money moves. You know? Copy. I wonder if he's not like okay, okay, so he won't be able to drive again. You know? Like, would he retire or not if he's not, you know, able to drive again? Since something's up with him. I don't know why I'm acting very concerned for him, but I just naturally am. Just naturally am. Even though he has been an asset, but I just naturally am. Am I helping the work? Not thinking about it. Okay. Okay, that's asking five laps of fuel Oh. Hmm? What happened? Why did I get a cutscene? I was just only able to pass two people. What happened? I was doing just fine. Oh my god. You can see he is really losing his eyesight. Devin Butler now. Oh that's not good! Damn, we got a replay. With that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that too many times. We want to see him out of the car, though. That news. Big relief there. Although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet, Crofty. Well, thumbs up to the crowd, but I'd imagine after that, he'll be quite shaken. Yeah. Oh, he's here. Thank you. Oh, sorry, excuse me. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, sorry. Hey. So that I'd be in that room. Guy is going a bit kooky. That's a bit kooky. What do you mean by that? You're, you're putting up your boots? Okay. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. Oh. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. What can you say? How did you feel? Uh, I was devastated. <sighs> but, uh... Mm -hmm. Five years in F1. Can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get a chance, so... You're putting up the boots? I, still one of the I mean, best gloves? While I was out there. You ask anyone. Mm hmm How did you feel when Devon left? How did I feel? He he didn't know how to feel. The butler estate. Damn. I could be in the fancy ass place. Shoo, shoo. 
You know, the place is fancy. Okay, I get it. I get all these achievements. Yappa, yappa, yappa. Moving on. I want to at least look how this estate looks. At least. That's what I want to see. Okay. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver. A permanent one. And fast. Mm -hmm. Mid-season. It's impossible. Given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projection. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place to the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. Uh-huh. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving this... Now, little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, Devon. As a father, I, I totally get that. So, if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why? Why not? Just... <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'd be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. You took her mother's name, Spike. Nah, she'll never say yes. Are you sure? This axe. You don't know until you ask. Why don't you leave that to me? A contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. That's fine. One problem at a time, eh? Okay. So we get his daughter. What's wrong with her name, though? I mean, is this the mother's name? It's not like the world worst thing ever to happen. <clears throat> you know? Hello. What's up, good, good hey, big guy? We need your input on this the Swallows of Empires have been testing the fact that I'm able to phone with Eden. That's fine. Things happen, okay? I can put, make good decisions and bad decisions. I just make them on the fly. But, anywho, thanks for joining me on this Breaking, uh, breaking Point episode. If you enjoyed the video, and surprised just like I am when he did when he did end up uh, you know retiring so suddenly and my guess was right that we did get Cali mayor but I didn't think that he that Cali is the daughter of, but of the butlers that did hit was very much a surprise Truthfully, a surprise. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on in the next video. I use this.